For cheap Minecraft hosting, be sure to go ahead and check out Clovex.net. What is going on guys, Casual Savage here, and in this video, I'm going to be sharing to Jailbreak iOS 9. Now just before I show you how to do the jailbreak, there's some things you need to know and there's some things you need to do. So first of all, what is compatible with the iOS 9 to iOS 9.0.2 jailbreak? Starting off with the iPhones, the iPhone 6S, iPhone 6S Plus, iPhone 6, iPhone 6 Plus, iPhone 5S, iPhone 5C, iPhone 5 and the iPhone 4S. Moving on to iPads, iPad Air 2, iPad Air, iPad 4, iPad 3, iPad 2, iPad Mini 4, iPad Mini 3, iPad Mini 2, and finally the iPad Mini. Then lastly, the iPod Touches, iPod Touch 6th generation, along with the iPod Touch 5th generation. And again, this is an untethered jailbreak. So of course we're going to be doing this on Pangu. Now there are downloads for the Mac and the Windows version. This is the Mac version right here, .dmg, and as you can see it's on Mediafire. All you need to do is click download. Now the Windows one is right here as well. Now Mac, you might also have this. This is not a survey or anything. All you need to do is press reveal, wait for the security code and type it here. Okay, so you see it says flannel shirt. That is what we have to type in right here. And then click return to page. Now click authorize download. And you can see you're gonna be taken to this page. Now, simply click download if you're on Windows or if you're on Mac, come to this one which says .dmg, so just look out for .dmg and .exe. Of course, it'll be titled in the description which one's for Mac and which one's for Windows. So click download, and now I'm saving this to my desktop. You can see I've already got it. That's why it says a bracket one, but I'll download it again, and it'll take about two minutes to download. Okay, so here's the things you need to do on your device before doing the jailbreak. First of all, you'll need to disable your passcode from settings, touch ID and passcode, and then you'll need to turn off Find My iPhone from Settings, iCloud, and Find My iPhone, then enable Airplay mode. So here you come to Settings, and then you come to iCloud, so we'll turn off Find My iPhone first. Scroll down to the bottom, and you'll see Find My iPhone. Make sure it's turned off like that. The next thing, your passcode. If your device has Touch ID, then it'll say Passcode and Touch ID. However, mine just says Passcode, because I don't have one. Make sure it's turned off again. Then the final thing you need to do is just toggle on aeroplane mode up here, like so. So that is it, now we're ready to begin the jailbreak. First of all you need to right click it and click run as administrator, click yes. And now you need to give it some time to find your device. You can see my device is already connected, just give it some time and then it will detect your device. There we go. So you can see I'm using an iPod Touch 6th generation, it's running on iOS 9.0.1. To start the jailbreak, just click start. Click already back up. And now here's some quick steps that's going to happen. At 55% your device will reboot. At 65% it will prompt you to enable airplay mode again and after your device has rebooted. At 75% it will then prompt you to unlock your device and run the Pangu app. Launch the Pangu app from the home screen. If you can't find the app and tried searching for it using Pangu, it also installs the WWDC app but you can just ignore it. The Pangu and WWDC app will remove once your device is successfully jailbroken. So you can see we've hit 55%, it's now rebooting. Now you can see it does say please unlock the device and enable airplay mode again, it's at 65%. And you can see here there is a time limit, that is how long you have to do it, so it's more than enough time just to lock the device, come to settings, and simply airplay mode on, and the jailbreak will continue. So there's the Pangu app right there, it's literally called Pangu, just click it, and now just follow the instructions on the screen, so accept, click OK. And now you can see it says jailbreak complete, so you can now exit off this, and now it's time to just be on the device.
Okay, so once your device is back, the first thing you can do is come to settings and turn off your airplane mode. So turn off your airplane mode, make sure your Wi-Fi is on and connected, and then you can come across and you can see there is Cydia right there. Just go ahead and click it. Now remember, this preparing file system will need some patience. Just take your time, let it do its thing, don't touch your device, just leave it how it is, and just let Cydia do its thing. After Cydia's done this, it will respring your device, so again, just have patience and don't touch anything. Okay, so once the device is back up, you're free to do whatever you want. So if we scroll across, there's Cydia, we can go now open this up, and you're good to do whatever you want to do on Cydia. So that's it for this video, that is how you jailbreak iOS 9, iOS 9.0.1, and iOS 9.0.2. It is very, very simple to do. If you have any problems or any issues while doing this, be sure to leave it in the comments below, and I'll try and help you out. If I can't help you, then I apologize for that, but... I will try my best. Be sure to go follow me on Twitter, I'll keep you updated when I'm posting and what I'm posting. Also be sure to go and check out my technology news channel where I'll keep you updated on the latest technology news. And finally be sure to go and add me on Snapchat which is what I do throughout my day. So it's been Kaggle Savage here, thank you so much for watching, please subscribe, rate, and peace.